I need you to figure out what that little shit was working on. She sent regular reports, but I think she was holding out on me. Uh, of course I was holding out on you, you evil bitch. <laughs> What's so funny? Ah, uh, nothing. Private joke. I need you to go to her apartment in the city and bring me anything you can find that looks like science. Notebooks, lab equipment... Sounds like it requires a lot of initiative. Listen, you cocky piece of shit. I hired you to protect a very expensive piece of merchandise. You brought her back broken. Until she's fixed, your ass belongs to me! If I say I want a human bird feeder, you start shoving crumbs up your ass! Ah, uh, that's colorful. I'm just used to jobs that require more chopping and less hauling. Oh, you'll get your chance. Zilla's gonna have her place staked out with some serious muscle. Damn. I mean, wonderful. Have fun, you miserable piece of shit. Love you too, sweetie. Man, she is a charmer, huh? Sometimes I fantasize about her being slowly eaten alive by ants. It's comforting. <laughs> Remind me to stock up on borax. Nice.
Enjoying your vacation, Mr. Wang? Oh, it's going all right. I could use another Mai Tai and some sunblock, though. Well, if you can rouse yourself from your leisure, I have further use for your skills. What's going on? Some assholes are cooking up back alley shade in the slums. Oh, that's horrifying. I need you to put a stop to it. For the, uh, children? <laughs> no. To show them that no one sells shade in my territory without getting his balls shoved down his throat. I think I can handle that. Hey. Yeah? You, uh, know where I can get some shade? I'm partial to oak trees myself. <laughs> Cut the shit. I know you're selling. All right. How much you need? Uh, four hundred? Shit. You serious? I only got dimes. You want more than that? You gotta talk to the chef. The chef? The guy who cooks the stuff. That's what he calls himself. And where can I find him? He doesn't really like visitors. Look, I got a lot of cash on me. I'll make it worth his while. All right. Tell you what. You head down that alley, and I'll tell him to come see you. Cool? All right. Cool. See? That's how a master does it. Oh my gosh, I am so impressed. You're like really young and hip and streetwise. Can it. I need to focus.
my sights, scumbag! Who cares? <laughs> So, which one of you guys is the chef? Hand over the cash, or we gave in your fucking skull. <sighs> I should warn you, this is a terrible idea. Fuck you! Set me up. Hey, shithead! Long time no set me up! You wanna end up like your fucking friends? Uh, I'm sorry. I thought... You thought you'd tell me where the chef actually fucking is now? Uh, yeah. He's up that way. Don't tell him I told you, okay? He's gotten real... weird lately. Yeah, I think you have bigger things to worry about. Like, say, never running into me ever a fucking again. <laughs> that sounds reasonable. Hey, I'm nothing if not accommodating. Oh, 
so fresh feeling? You had to know this. Warranties are a thing of the past. Your car won't start even with you. stuck on sleep. together, man. ugliest thing I've killed today. Ten crack commandments? Number four, I know you've heard this before. Never get high on your own supply, huh?
Mr. Wang, I trust you have good news for me. That depends on your perspective. What is that supposed to mean? Well, his next of kin probably aren't thrilled. The local vultures are delighted, though. Wait, is that some sort of idiotic way of telling me you killed him? Ah, uh, yeah. I thought it was pretty o You goddamn moron! I told you to deliver a message, not slice him up. I didn't want him dead, I wanted him on my fucking payroll. I'm not so sure about that. He was pretty far gone. Don't tell me my business! If I want someone killed, I'll say so. Why didn't you tell her about Biggie? Shut up. 